almost ready, 2,800 meters. Gates go back and they off and racing. Now speed's gonna be the question. I know that Jaeger Moon likes to lead and off goes Jaeger Moon with Samanga Kamalo and Guy Alexander's right on the outside in second. Then comes Light Without racing in third. Further back is Origami. Then comes Wildest Dreams behind that one. Further back is American Landing, King's Crusade, and being patiently ridden is Magnum Fire. And that's got the pink sleeves and the white cap out back about eight or nine. Make that 10 lengths as they stretch on past the 2400. And in front over here is Guy Alexander. He wanted the lead, he got the lead. Racing away in second is Origami, who's right there at his girth now in second as they slam on the brakes. Jaeger Moon with a top weight is in third. Further back to Wilder's Dreams, orange sleeves and orange cap at the outside of Jaeger Moon. Light without is behind that one. Then comes American Landing, the black and white, about five or six lengths off them. King's Crusade and a long way back to Magnum Fire, who must have ten lengths to make up. So Guy Alexander, he got to the front, he steadies the ship. In second is Origami, racing in third is Wildest Dreams, now in the improved. Then comes Jaeger Moon. Further back is Light Without with Rachel Venica sitting about six lengths off them. King's Crusade behind that, then comes American Landing. And for some unknown reason, Magnum Fire is quite detached from the field, about 10 lengths off the leader. So nothing's really changed. It's still Guy Alexander. He did some work in the early parts of the race, but he's been able to control the race from the front by a length and a tail. Right there in second now is Wildest Dreams, who's also improved a few positions around them and might show some intent to crack on for the lead. Jaeger Moon's had a good run in third. Then comes Origami, further back to Light Without, who's about six lengths off them, American Landing. King's Crusade, and now out back is Magnum Fire, who just gets a bit closer up towards the 900. So the speed has really been good. they at the 900, and Guy Alexander and Wildest Dreams, they've taken each other on a long way from home. They've gone six lengths clear of Jaeger Moon, who's in third. Then comes Origami, Light Without is behind that. American Landing, still about seven or eight lengths off them. King's Crusade has got lots of work to do. And then comes Magnum Fire, who's now being asked to run by Ryan Munger. they at the 500, and Guy Alexander's on the inside. Right there in second is Wildest Dreams. Jaeger Moon is still going nicely. Light Without and Magnum Fire is trying to stay on, but still got quite a bit of work to do. It's now Jaeger Moon who comes into the lead with Light Without on the inside. I tell you, Magnum Fire can't win from that position. And now in front is American Landing who comes at Jaeger Moon. American Landing has come breezing into the lead, and it's fair to say it's race over. American Landing's going to win the Glen Eyre Trophy and win very well. Jaeger Moon in second, third very close. Wildest Dreams, then came Light Without and unfortunately Magnum Fire was never in the race. It's almost as if they were running in slow motion because they were going up and down. Wildest Dreams, Guy Alexander, not sure what they were thinking taking each other on at the 1200. And ultimately, you can see Kendall Mini just posing, going through the gears. And yes, American Landing and won a very good race. Jaeger Moon was in second with Samanga Kamalo. And that's the Glen Eyre Trophy for 2023 as I hand you back to the studio. Well, it's been an absolute bumper day for the Kreef Yard, and uh, they now take home the feature race double with American Landing coming through to take the listed Glen Lear Trophy. What a win. Thomas is standing to my side here. Thomas, not the groom of American Landing, but his groom's in charge. Uh, you're an, uh, an assistant there at Allen's, working hard. You're getting to, ca to care the check over. Well done. Brilliant. Thanks, Thomas, for doing duty for the groom of... Um, American Landing. And Thomas is going to come in, just going to put that down. Thomas, can you come back? Thomas, can you come back? Thanks very much. No, leave that, leave that. That's great. Um, 
You'll stand there and there on behalf of uh, American Landings Groom, you can grab the beautiful trophy and the check from EPOL. So that is a total of two and a half thousand rand for the lucky groom. And I just think it's fantastic to have all these initiatives, the guys back home doing the work, getting to really reap the rewards. The man of the hour is Kendall Minnie, and he's stepping in to uh, have a chat with me and Kendall. You knew, he must have known you had a chance on this guy because uh, Charles, Charles told you so earlier in the week. <laughs> yes, that's correct, Nate. I, remember, I just remember being in the office having a chat and you guys saying that this was a bit of a runner. Yes, actually I did give him a very good chance when I knew us. When I was on the final yeah. fields with that weight, he's 51 and a, t and a half on his back and look, half the field got quite a low weight, but I mean, I have ridden him on the poly for two starts. Yes. And I... For him to run fourth on, on the poly, and I kind of knew if he does go to the grass, he's definitely a contender. And yes. look, today, coming today, I was quite confident, but you'll never know what happens in the race. And the pace was quite hard, but it was. And I, I kind of let him idle, but around the thousand meter mark, I started actually let him take the bit because I thought the front horses were going quite hard. But that filly is quite gutsy; she can still carry on. And I moved up in my hands and every time I asked him, every furlong he actually gave me in his in in the bridle and I just That must have been such a lovely yeah, feeling. Nah, nah, it's, look when you're not even going like that to the post, it's you know, you know all yeah. of it and it's a great feeling to actually win a small feature with him and <sighs> nice to have another cleaner in the bag. Yes, another one. Like I'm, you, that's what I was going to bring up. You've got a good relationship uh, with this race, having won it uh, all those years ago on Thunder Flash. Also very special, Justine standing Arctic by, race. having a nice grin yeah. listening. Yeah. And uh, it's a special race to you. Yes, yes it is. And I would like to thank Mr. Khreev for the, for the great opportunities. Yes. Look, you always, always give me all the support and I'm um, very, actually, very grateful and well done to the owners. Look, I know he was at his time, the source, and I just knew he had another couple in the bag and I'm very thrilled that he actually got it today. And fantastic that you're aboard to do so. Kendall, well done. And Corin standing by with a lovely bottle of champagne well for you to celebrate with later this evening. And uh, congratulations. Great ride. Thank Great you very win. much. Thanks. Kendall in the winner's box, American Landing. As you heard, he's got a nice uh, history with this race and uh, has brought home the winner for Allen on a previous occasion the way of Thunderflash. Actually, when this race still had grade three status. So, yeah, that's, that is uh, a nice memory. Yes, it is. And very well done to Kendall. Really nice ride. Uh, patient ride. I just said to him, you know, just let him move through your yes. hands. He had no weight on his back. You know, weight stops trains and... Uh, you know, with this type of weight, he's an old campaigner, but uh, the stayers tend to be older if you look overseas. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the story goes a little bit further back to the beginning of the week, end of last week, uh, when Barack had to be scratched. scratched and, uh, yeah. you know, I thought, well, he was a, as good a thing to come through a bridle for this race, and I was devastated. Mm -hmm. But uh, American Landings took up the mantle and won a very good race. Well done to everybody concerned, to Lance for his persistence. Uh, he was supposed to be a riding horse at the beginning of January. He's now won a listed race and <laughs> had a rejuvenation of <laughs> life. So uh, well done to everybody concerned. Yeah, and I've got to say this hawks back to his really promising early days when he actually came to Port Elizabeth under Brett Crawford and listed our, listed our listed East Cape Derby. And here he is all these years later. And I've got to say that's a, a kudos to the yard. He is an incredibly happy eight-year-old. You watch him go down to start, he doesn't look like an eight-year-old. And great to see him lift another feature. You know, Nadine... When I saw him this morning when he came back from his trot, he came back into the yard and they took the saddle off and the next minute he was bucking and oh. freshing. And I thought, hey, there's <laughs> some life in the old dog. And uh, I, I, I then had a little bit of hope for him today and, uh, yeah. you know, he won a good race. Very well done. I'm very glad for Kendall. Works hard. He does. He deserves everything. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up. He puts the work in. And Alan, on behalf of Mrs. Cheryl, please accept the lovely trophy. And there's a bottle of champagne for um, probably Steve and you to enjoy upstairs. <laughs> You're having a cracking day. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I must say, I didn't expect a day like this, but uh, that's racing for you. And, uh, you know, when you come to the races, not expecting too much. 
When you have a day like this, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It certainly is. Alan, well done. The Yard certainly has reached some heights this afternoon. This is their fifth win, and uh, they've oh, taken yeah. both of uh, the features on the day so far, the non-black type flying, uh, heavy flying five, as well as the listed Glenlear trophy. And a little bit earlier in the day, the Derby plate as well. So certainly a very, very great day for them. I think it's wonderful that American Landing has uh, lifted another feature. Congratulations to Mrs. Cheryl. Great win here. And of course, last but not least, I think a great job done here by Kendall. He puts in some very long hours back home, does a lot of work, and is a very well-deserved winner this afternoon.